Driving around Arkansas, you can see pops of color in the trees as we get deeper into October. But will this year's fall display be a dazzler or a dud? Leaves are green in the spring and summer because of the abundance of chlorophyll, which is needed for the process of photosynthesis, which produces food or sugar. As the daylight declines, the amount of chlorophyll is reduced and other pigments reveal themselves. Carotenoids make the leaves orange or yellow and are always in the leaves, but masked by the chlorophyll. Robust reds and potent purples are produced by another pigment called anthocyanins. These colors are seen in maples and sweet gums. A lot of sugar is required. An awesome autumn canvas is produced by the correct combo of sunlight, temperature, and rain. Sunny days produce more sugar. More sugar means more vibrant colors. However, too many cloudy days leads to less sugar production and a duller display. For temperatures, we need warm days and cool nights. Warm temperatures allow for efficient sugar making, and the cool nights will keep the sugar or the color in the leaves. Cold, frosty, or freezing nights can force the leaves to release the sugar and cause a muted or more brown display. Rain through the spring and summer is a critical component. Drought can cause the trees to stress, leading to an earlier peak and a shorter season. The last factor to consider is wind. If the wind machine is cranking as the peak is happening or almost reached, down the leaves go and the season is over. For 2024, we should see plenty of color, depending on the tree species. Maples, like in Harrison, never disappoint. We have had plenty of sunny, warm days and some cool nights in the 40s and 50s. The only caveat is the developing drought which will continue to get worse. This may force trees in parts of central and northwest Arkansas to reach their peak one or two weeks early and lose their leaves quicker. Peak color in northwest and north Arkansas should be happening in mid-October in some areas, but Fayetteville will likely have to wait until the end of the month. Central Arkansas and the Washita's will see peak early to mid-November. South Arkansas will have to wait to see the fall color until mid-November or later. An early ranking of this year's fall color forecast, I'm going to say is about a four out of five leaves. Means we'll see some nice color. For THV 11, I'm meteorologist Nathan Scott.